fangs. Sure, this is all right. Yeah, no worries. Take care. I've coped for 24 years, Graham. 48 hours isn't too much to ask from you. Ah, oh, give us a hand. What happened to you? Me? You were supposed to interview me about the reunion. Two o'clock yesterday? Yesterday? Oh, I thought it was today. Right. That's why you're here at 7 a.m. Oh, excuse me, I'm sorry. The shop isn't open yet. My fault. It's just they make me do everything. Oh, the shop's not open for another hour. And I guess the Johnston family reunion would be a low priority in your run of things. Excuse me, I'm looking for somebody. Do you know where Mr. Tumai lives? Uh, I can tell you where the house is, but Monty's not there. He won't be back till Monday. Did you see that? What? She swiped a packet of chips. So, your shout? That's Daddy's school. <laughs> this is where Daddy grew up. Do you think they'll like me? Uh, yes, Poppy, they'll like you. <laughs> they'll hate me. But uh, we won't worry about that. Ah, oh, yeah. Won't be a minute, Poppet. Tess, oh. I missed you. You hit my cigarettes again? No. I know I promised to take the day off, but I'm afraid there's a crisis at work. No problem, Neil. Just don't forget the dance band for tomorrow night. Oh, don't believe it. Don't even let me have breakfast in peace. Oh. You forgot one. Took your time getting there, mate. The prodigal brother. <laughs> Who knows? Well, only you and um, Tim. Tim, of course. <laughs> you were about here. <laughs> <laughs> Always one for surprises, but this time, Gordon, you may have done yourself. <laughs> <laughs> well, if your reaction's anything to go by, brother, we could be in for the odd heart attack. <laughs> Family tree there. Family photographs there. If you want the full saga, you better talk to Mum. Izzy Johnston. You might still find her at the cottage. Suzanne? Yes, I see him, Bob. Hello, Brother Gordon. Only took you 12 years to get here.
Whoops. You're not even vaguely ready. I know, late night. What's lurking under the shower can? My reunion special. Oh, help. I hope the olds don't ban you from the clan photo. <laughs> <laughs> they will be so booze they won't even care. I'm totally bored. Dress. Gordon, eh? Never thought we'd see him again. <gasps> Dad, I've heard you say you never wanted to see him again. Yeah, sure let the old man down. And the family. Gordon was always good at that. Yeah, well, what's he gonna say when he finds half the farm gone? Graham's problem. <laughs> <laughs> Excuse me. Could you tell me where Izzy Johnston lives? Yeah, sure. Down the road, past the store, White House, flowers in the front. Got that? Thanks. Who'd Suzanne say he was? I don't know. Some reporter from the local rag. <laughs> Just give me the you telling your grandmother about. Oh, you won't forget these, will you? No. Doesn't look much like a farmhouse. Good morning, Graham. Haven't booked anywhere yet. You're not a visitor, Gordon. You're staying here. Eat up, pop it. I don't like it. Well, I missed you at the funeral. Sophie, would you like toast? I'm in jam, thank you. Funeral? Your father's? 12,000 miles is a long way. It wasn't just burying Dad, though, was it? <sighs> I'm not with you. The house, the farm, Johnson estate, the will, the trust. Great Uncle Bob. Hey, Wings. Hello, little brother. How are you? Good. Now, what colour is that, Wings? This. This is natural. This is me. Have you ever noticed it before? <laughs> Smarty. We're not here. Everybody except my family. Not a single photo. Come on, Grant. Get up now, time. Mm. Come on, sauce on your feet. Hello, dear. Why haven't you done the photos? Why does it have to be me? Don't you care about this reunion? Don't be silly. Mum. Mum? Stop pretending you can read people, Dan. Okay, I've stopped. Now look at me. It's you and Dad, isn't it? I'm staying till the reunion's over. I'm just uh, keeping up appearances. The marriage is over. Anything I need to know about Mother? She's in good health, keeps active, lives moderately. Really? Saving up for a rainy day. What the hell's that meant to him, Gordon? Dad didn't exactly leave her in poverty. Didn't he? We're not exactly rolling in it these days, Gordon. Let's try and get this weekend over with, and then we can try and sort things out. Suits me. Mum, you got married in a mini skirt. I did not. Two inches above the knee, Amy, is not a mini skirt. How about this one? 
Katie Starkers. Well, don't be stupid. Don't make a big thing of it. I'm not. How about Mum and Dad on their honeymoon? I'm delighted to see you, Gordon. But it would have been nice if you could have dropped me a postcard. And I am on the telephone. Came on the spur of the moment, Mum. Indeed. I've had the telephone for years, waiting. Some kind of explanation why you didn't come back. I just couldn't get back in time for the funeral. Oh, I'm not referring to your father's funeral. Your promises to come back and take over the farm. This is an important weekend for the family. And welcome home. I thought it was a better space. Yes, but this is a no-smoking zone. Oh, you'll have to give up one day, Gray. Oh, I'm running late. I'm on my way. But what have I missed from the picnic list? You've heard Gordon's here. Yep. Jungle drums have been beating all morning. Well, we were going to put up Uncle Haddon at the farm. But now could Val and Bob have him? Fine with us, isn't it? Terrific. I just terrified you were going to give us Gordon. <laughs> Izzy always had green fingers. Don't we really know us? Hi, Uncle. How are you? <laughs> <laughs> what, what are you dropping with your Oh, nose? quite right, quite right there. Ah, Adam. Ah, you. Ah. Hey, hey, oh, that young know, man looks familiar. My youngest brother. Good Lord, is it? Oh, I hope. Uh, Ah, uh, people won't be asking me awkward questions all weekend. Why would they do that? Oh, families have secrets. Not the stuffy old one. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, Grant. Glad well, you can make it. Hey, listen, we're going to need about 30 chairs from the storeroom, Amanda. Make sure they're not broken, eh? What are you doing? Chairs, Grant. OK. Amy, you're taking orders for the family tree. Katie, you're giving out name tags. Tim, keys to the car. Picking up the Harrisons from the train at five. Wendy, where is that girl? Oh, she just popped out to Izzy's. OK, tell her she's on tea. Dan, you're on registration with me. Hopefully nobody will turn up. At least we'll get the deposit back on the hall. I know, Dad. About Mum leaving. I guessed. You think she's serious? Liz! Barney! Second cousins or once removed? Hello. It's Caroline, isn't it? My wife, yes. You couldn't persuade her to come with you? Hates flying. Sophie, you'll miss her. I'd be very grateful, Janine, if you could avoid that subject with my daughter. Hi. Sweetie, could you uh, take that through to the kitchen, please? Yeah. And empty this disgusting thing. You could have talked to me. You could have told me it was falling apart. I didn't know. You didn't know? Your marriage was dying? Call from Uncle Bleeper. Neil, oh, let me guess. There's another meeting. Mm -hmm. Which means he's going to be away for an hour or so? Which means he'll be away for the rest of the afternoon. Isn't that just too cool? Yeah, maybe. Hi, Dan. Here you go. Cool. Grass! Hannah, that's my brother. He's forgotten my name. It's Dan. Is there anything else you guys want to tell me? I'm looking for Monty too, my, but he's not here. Right. Are you related to Monty? Yeah, yeah, I am. Just remember, Grant, you've got things to do.
Monty Tumai is the principal of our school. Yeah, I know. He's my granddad. I've put you in Amy's room in the meantime. She's sharing with Katie. Meantime? Why does everybody assume I'm back for good? Perhaps we thought your conscience had finally caught up with you. We all have consciences. I promised to come home and take over the farm. I'm not denying that, but then I was promised a few other things as well. They didn't work out. We do know about the trust fund, Gordon. <sighs> Humour me, Janine. Are you talking about some sort of bribe? Whatever you like. I just call $200,000 a hell of a lot of money. So do I. Ah, there's a girl who knows the way to an old man's heart. <laughs> Keep an eye on Uncle Hadley. What am I supposed to do? Water his drink or something. Dad, I'm going home. I'm all sticky. Um, where's yeah. Mark? Oh, she'll be, you know... Telling herself up. Yeah. Um, Jim! Excuse me. Watch it. They're going to water your booze. Not if I know about it. <laughs> You'll be OK? Yeah. Better than sleeping under a hedge. OK. See ya. Thanks. We must have a chat, brother. Where are the other brothers? Neil's not here yet. Uh, later, OK, Gordon? <laughs> mm. So the prodigal's returned. Where's his wife? Good question. He always was the best looking. Oh. <laughs> Dad, got a problem. Psst. Come here. What did you do with your friend? You don't tell anyone. Nah. She's in the old stables. That's roughing it. I couldn't think of anywhere else. Go get changed. I want to get my hands on $200,000. Do you know where I can find it? Some other time, I said, Gordon. But maybe after the cricket game. You tomorrow. think I made a great killing out of a secret trust? Or after the barbecue? You don't know who the beneficiary is because that's a secret. Look, we'll discuss But this you make later. this quantum leap in the brain department. Daddy's done it for little Gordon. Well, I wish he had. I thought he was. But he didn't. Not a penny. Pity. I could have done with the money. Grant! You haven't told Mum and Dad. They got enough on their plate without worrying about you. Looking after some strange girl. She's not strange. Mr Tumai's her grandfather. Monty Tumai has no family living in New Zealand. Hey, I think you'd better fill me in with a few facts about this... Um... Hannah. Yeah, Hannah. Where are you from, Hannah? You don't believe me. He is my grandfather. All right. Why are you interested in our family? OK. I'm from Sydney. I think the cops might be after me. I've done a runner. Have you? Well, sort of. I came over here to stay with my auntie in Auckland. Then there was this newspaper story. Thought I'd come down and stay with my grandfather. <sighs> Didn't work out. He's not here. I don't see the connection, but go on. I'm trying to find out who my old man is. My dad. All I know is... his name's Johnston. Why don't you drive it off a cliff, claim the insurance, and get something that goes. What insurance? Hey, uh, Wendy, you know anything about legal gobbledygook? I'm a hairdresser. Yeah, well, if, if for, oh, here, just hold that for a sec. Yeah, if Uncle Gordon is getting the benefit of all this cash that's floating around, then. Hey. I don't, oh, here we go. Guess what? Oh, what if our dad's been playing around? Oh, what do you mean? You know, having it off. Oh, Grant. There's this girl showed up. 
Sulu Dead's a Johnston. Oh, radical, man. Really? Savings, I've got a flat in town. I expect you to help with the children. 24 years of marriage out of the blue. You know what I said to her finally? Janine, not now, not before the family reunion. Well, it's not really out of the blue, is it? I mean, it's been shaky for years. Has it? <laughs> you know more than I do, Dan. Dad. There's no third party. Janine, Dan. Or you? You know, something from the past, niggling away? <laughs> Another woman. Nah. OK. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> what about Neil? Mike, he's not married. Yeah, well, it doesn't quite feel right for Uncle Graham. It's a bit long distance for Gordon. Who does she look like? She looks great. Ah! <laughs> Hannah Johnston, part Maori. <laughs> Doesn't sort of fit the family tree, really. Well, how come you haven't mentioned the number one choice? What? Uncle Haddon? <laughs> oh, you're old, man. <laughs> Why did I let Katie talk me into playing cricket? Oh, you love it. How come you got out of it? Oh, rugby injury. Works every time. <laughs> Why don't you compromise? Have your own space here. You know, you can live your own life under the same roof. People do it all the time. I mean, leaving's so drastic. Dad'll never cope. And how will you survive in the city anyway? People change, you know. I've never thought of you and Dad as being just static. I mean, I get on well with both of you. So how come it's so easy for me? I mean, for all his, all his faults, Dad's never... He's never been unfaithful, has he? Don't badger me. I've got to go and that's all there is to it. What do you want this, Uncle? Third man boundary. Yeah, that'll be right. Well done. He's a fine young man. <laughs> Graham, don't forget Easter. You're all coming to our batch at Tutakaka. Tons of space. Sounds wonderful. Walk this way or I'll say it in front of everyone. Say what? You really are spineless. Like, whenever anything's too difficult, have a chat with Janine. See if you can talk your mum around. I don't know what you're on about. Yeah, exactly. You're doing it again. Now, you've got it wrong. What did I do? I think you're not understood. Well, don't you dare use Dan against me. I didn't. No, I'm not interested. OK, we had an agreement. I'd stay the weekend. I'd smile nicely at all the functions. I'd listen to all the boring gossip. And you'd shut up and there'd be no more blackmail. You couldn't resist using your son to do your dirty work, could you? Right. Agreement broken. All right. Just one more chance. Yeah, but not for you. Not for you, for the children. I promise, if there's one more squeak, I'll blow this whole sham and I'll be out of here so fast you won't even have time to say goodbye to Katie. The Johnstons came to New Zealand from Scotland almost exactly to the day a hundred years ago. They developed this land. Uh, some of them stayed here, some went on to other parts of New Zealand. And we are the descendants of those hard-working pioneers. And I'm proud to, tea, to see so many of you here today for the centenary. Before I kick off this cricket match... <laughs> I would like, uh, on your behalf, to make special mention to two wonderful people who have put so much time and trouble into this, uh, into this wonderful occasion. 
Janine and Graham. Thank you. That'll do fine. You ready, Katie? I just wish he'd set a good example. Like Sir Tipple, being known to fall over, but he always comes up smiling. Oh, oh. Oh. I carry them in case I have to win favour with small children. Everything all right? Yeah, fine. How's that? Run! Woo! <laughs> I mean, with Graham and Janine. Oh, it's just the weekend catching up, I reckon. It was my call. <laughs> what an episode shall we put on last night about his inheritance? Don't you believe him? I haven't believed Gordon since he was two years old. Oh, he's the beneficiary, all right. Just doesn't want to admit it. Good morning, Gordon. We were just talking about you. Really? Nothing unpleasant, I hope. <laughs> you must be Sophie. Thank you very much. I'm your maiden aunt, Suzanne. Where do you live in England? Near London. Hmm, I guessed as much. Walton on Thames. I know it well. I have a very good friend who lives in Weybridge. Are you English? Hmm, nearly. <laughs> You're on horses or something, aren't you, Gordon? What are you going to do now you're home? How do you mean? Well, I was thinking of Sophie, a school for Sophie. <gasps> Look what a lovely dress. Thank you very much. Your mother's got very good taste. Let's go for a walk, Robert. Look, come on. Elsa! Yeah! Oh, be a sport, Katie. <laughs> See ya! <laughs> See ya! So Timo would be in his 40s? How that? He got married at 18? 16, actually. She was a relieving schoolteacher, and Monty was just about to go to teacher's college. Quite the talk of the valley. How many children did they have? <sighs> 20 questions. It's just, I thought, kind of young to have a nearly grown-up granddaughter. Tell me. It's nothing. Very annoying Kiwi habit, Dan starting and never finishing a conversation. A young girl came to town yesterday. About 16? Yeah. I think I met a light-fingered wench. Ooh, to my granddaughter. Could be. She's looking for her father. Says his name's Johnston. I remember when there were so many of us in the valley, we had our own cricket team. <laughs> I never quite managed 11, Beth. Ten Johnstons and a ringing. <laughs> you have a long day ahead of you, Haddon. Do I sense a critical tone in the voice? Clear head is needed some of the time. You seem to hold all my husband's secrets. Now that Gordon's back, they're going to have to be cleared up once and for all. It's crossed my mind, you see, but I... You see, as trustee, I am legally constrained. Uh, it's very awkward. 
I don't think I care about that anymore. Everybody in the family considers Gordon the black sheep. That will have to change. I'm not interested in the law, Hatton. Only in finding out the truth. Oh. 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 You're to be a young now young. saved by the bell. <laughs> don't let the side down, Haddon. <laughs> Come on. Oh. Not out. What? <clears throat> Your attention for a moment. Uh, I'd like to announce the result of the cricket match. It was uh, a draw. <laughs> Despite Uncle Haddon's fielding. OK, everyone. See you in the pub beer garden at one o'clock. You batted very well, Katie. How come it was a draw when we scored twice as many runs? Come on, Katie. We weren't playing for the crown jewels. Niels had to pop into town. What? Another crisis, huh? Okay. <laughs> You'll get your reward in heaven. Potato. I don't like. Mm. Tomato. I don't like tomato. Mmm, these beans look yummy. I don't eat beans. Radish. Hot radish. Yeah. Pickles. <laughs> Watermelon. Hello. Hi. Come on, darling, sit down. Ooh. Uh. Here, your turn. You're not trying to get me drunk, are you, Jimmy? Yeah. <laughs> you heard? I know. Isn't it hysterical? Reckon she's your sister? No. You're Neil or Gordon? Nah, put a punt on Dad or Graham. Know my prediction, dear? The next time we gather, it'll be for a wedding. <laughs> or a related <laughs> christening. Your great-grandmothers. It goes to the first Johnston girl in each generation on her marriage. Hey, so tell us, Uncle Haddon, what sort of stuff mean about this missing dough our parents keep raving on about? There's nothing missing. It's, it's all hush-hush. Yeah, so nobody knows? Nobody. Except Uncle Haddon, of course. It's a secret trust. Well, I'm lost. I can tell you, this is all it is. My father left a trust in his will. Uncle Adam runs it, and he's not allowed to tell anybody about it. Ooh. We've run out of plates. I ain't going to pop into town. No, no, my job. You play host. Well, everybody thinks the dough was for Uncle Gordon. Yes. Yeah. Well, it's not Gordon. So there's absolutely no reason why you can't tell us. So. Why is it that you have strung everybody, including my mother, along for nine years? Look, am I being ganged up on here? Yes, yeah. you are. Some things are best left in the dark, Suzanne. You mean skeletons in the cupboard? <laughs> what are you doing? I haven't stolen anything. I was just looking at the family photos and that. That's cool. I'd do the same thing if I were you. They'll be home soon, Mum and Dad. What's he like? Eh? Dad. <laughs> Your dad, I mean. You're... Oh. You might be my brother. <laughs> Just him and Amy. They know about me. Yeah, everyone does. Except the oldies. No, I swear they'll all get off their face tonight, and that'll loosen everything up. Now, by 11 o'clock, you'll have half a dozen fathers, and we'll know all about the money. There's always a chance my mum was lying. You know, sick of me nagging her. Johnston, first name that came into her head. Hey, now, don't you go spoiling the fun when we haven't even started yet. Oh. Do you reckon your grandfather knows who your dad is? Maybe. That's if I believe what she says. Reckon she never told him. Band. 
Yeah, the band, Neil. You're supposed to be booking them. Look, you've got no idea what a terrible weekend I've had. <laughs> He's forgotten. Typical. <clears throat> Nobody's perfect. What? No music. <laughs> nice one, Wendy. Yeah, there's a dance band hiding out the back. Oh, no, you better believe it. The one thing they were going to organise for us. What a bummer. <laughs> hey, better tell Hannah there's been a change of plan. Uh, 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 ladies and gentlemen, uh, as they say, the best laid plans of mice and men. We've been planning this evening for weeks, uh, months. Nothing could go wrong. But it has. We can't have a dance without music. No. Uh, yes, I know that, Auntie What's Beth. What's that behind you? We've got a piano. We'll make our own music. Hey, come on, Graham, lad. Let's get this show on the road. A lovely couple. Yeah, they do. Mm. You certainly may. <laughs> You'll do me, Grant. Come on. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I always dance with the best looking girl. <laughs> <laughs> For your honest sonsy face, great chief and love the pudding race, her bone there are you take your place, paint stripe or thumb, wheel are you worthy of a grace as long as my arm. What is this stuff? If I told you, you wouldn't eat it. <laughs> Come on, Wendy's let's no way! This only happens once every century, and we won't be around for the next. Well, hey, can we crush your flat anyway? Well, just don't leave in the pigsty like last time. You know where the keys are. Come on, Amy, we're off. Why can't I come? You're too young. Yeah. Right, let's pick that girl Hannah up, then it's off to the city to go clubbing. Yeah. Go on, so long, far from me. Oh, damn. So much for a big Kiwi night in the city. No, no, we'll still make it. How? Trust me, I know what I'm doing. I'll be back in five minutes, OK? You're right. Neil, thank you very much, dear. Didn't make me very popular with the kids. True. They can have their raucous pop music any time. <laughs> That's our kind of dance, is he? Come on.
Now, you gave me rather a hard time today. Yes, I did. And your mother's not much better. It's your own fault, Uncle Adam. You've been playing too many games over the years and now it's all about to explode. There's a 15-year-old woman in town looking for her daddy. A certain Mr. Johnston. It's come home to roost, Uncle Haddon. I really owe you a great apology, brother. Hadn't realised how selfish I've been until I came back. I want to make that up to you. Just a few things to sort out, tidy up. Sure. I was... I was wondering if you and Janine could give me a couple of days. It's just very difficult with Sophie. It's late, Gordon. I'm not following. I just need a couple of days. I want to leave my daughter with you. It's a bad time. Well, I realise that. You realise nothing. Not... Normally. It's nothing to do with a family reunion. <coughs> it's not something I want to explain. But I'm sorry, Gordon. It's out of the question. Completely out of the question. That's fine. You know me, Graham. Timing's always been bad. I'll uh, just have to work it out some other way. <laughs> 